a lot goes on behind the scenes before you even step out onto the baseball field. I really wasn't even aware of the award until we got it. Well, the first thing I thought was about time uh, because we've had the best field in Georgia for a long time. Last week, the Georgia Baseball Coaches Association agreed, recognizing Columbus State's Ragsdale Field as the best collegiate field in all of Georgia. But a field can only win an award if someone's there to take care of it. We might have to throw a bag of turfus on it. Let it dry up as much as we can. I've, I've kind of just learned from experience, from what other people done. I've, I've basically screwed everything up uh, out here at least once and just try to not make the same mistake twice. He must not have made too many mistakes because he's been with Columbus State for 15 years. Just a crack of the bat today, boys. <laughs> Pop it a mitt. He's one of the reasons our baseball program is successful. Success comes and goes like seasons change. And the seasons changing makes Dyer's job more challenging. Uh, you go from 80 degrees to, to 30 degrees and it kind of puts the grass in shot and anytime the field floods. So you kind of kind of at the will of mother nature as far as that goes. We're lucky enough to be out here every day. One of the most beautiful things. It was definitely a selling point for me to come here. Um, Dyer's does an incredible job with it and we could be more thankful to have him on our staff. I get to come out and work on a baseball field every day, so that beats the heck out of uh, sitting in a sitting in a desk. Um, so I could I could see myself doing this job and, until uh, until they don't let me do it anymore, or until I'm physically not able to to come out here and do it.